Welcome to Healthy Sleep, Improving Your Sleep, part of the Healthy Sleep, Healthy Life series. I'm Dr. Lawrence Epstein. We're going to share with you now a proven method for improving your sleep. If you follow these easy to remember steps, you will soon notice better quality sleep and improvements in daytime alertness. Just remember, ready, set, go to sleep. Each of these steps represents routines or behaviors that will get your body ready for sleep. You may have to change things that you currently do or add new routines, but the change will be well worth the effort. The first step is to get ready for sleep. This means participating in activities that promote sleep and making sure that your sleep environment is one that enhances your ability to fall asleep. Healthy people sleep better, so doing what you can to promote overall good health will also help your sleep. Living a healthy lifestyle, which means having a regular exercise routine and good diet, promotes good sleep. Appropriate use of alcohol and caffeine are important as well. Alcohol makes people sleepy and can reduce the time to fall asleep, but once asleep, alcohol fragments sleep and leads to poor quality sleep. Caffeine is a stimulant that improves alertness, but can interfere with the ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. The effect of caffeine on sleep lasts longer than most people think, more than six hours. So consuming foods and drinks with caffeine in the evening can make it hard to get to sleep and stay asleep. Take the time to evaluate your bedroom and make sure it promotes sleep. The bedroom should be dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. Remove as many extra sources of light as you can, including computers, television, and other electronics. Make sure your bed is comfortable and wear bed clothing you feel good in. Remove any sources of interruption or irritation. One of the most common of these is the bedside clock or cell phone. Constantly checking the time can cause frustration and difficulty with sleep. The final phase in getting ready is to do something that marks the end of the day. Bring work and other stimulating activities to a close. Shut off the computer. Keep a notepad by the bedside so you can write things down that you need to remember for the next day so you can let them go, relax, and be ready for sleep. The next step is to get set for sleep. Settling down and relaxing helps promote falling asleep. Develop a pre-sleep routine that you do every night. This should include reducing light exposure as light has a stimulating effect. Do something relaxing, such as reading, listening to music, muscle relaxation, or meditation. Developing and routinely performing your pre-sleep routine will set the stage for sleep. Now it is time to go to sleep. Consistency promotes good sleep. Going to bed and waking up at the same time is a way to set the body's internal clock, the circadian rhythm, which maximizes the effect of the circadian sleep drive. The consistent schedule also assures that the homeostatic and circadian sleep drives work together to promote falling asleep. Avoid developing bad habits around sleep that can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. The bed should be a place for sleep and intimacy only, so avoid doing things that can distract from sleep. It should not be a place of entertainment, such as watching TV or surfing the internet. Associating the bed with these types of activities can interfere with getting to sleep. Develop the habit of getting into bed, turning off the light, and going to sleep. If you have trouble falling asleep, don't spend lots of time in bed being annoyed and frustrated at being awake. Once you get to this point, Get out of bed, go to another location, and restart your get set to sleep routine. Don't do work, exercise, or other stimulating activities, but rather things you find relaxing. Most of the time, following these steps and establishing a regular relaxing routine will help you get to sleep and get a good night's sleep. The next question we will ask is, what should we do if we can't sleep? What if you still have problems with sleep after trying the ready, set, go to sleep approach? If you've tried implementing all the steps and are still having problems, this could mean that you have a sleep disorder interfering with your ability to get good quality sleep. Sleep disorders are medical problems that you might not even be aware of, but they can have a big impact on your health. The place to start is to ask your doctor or a sleep specialist to evaluate you for a sleep disorder. Our final question is, how do we know if we have a sleep disorder? Since you are not aware of what you're doing while you're asleep, you have to look for other signs. 
the most common warning sign is not feeling rested by your sleep and being sleepy during the daytime. Good quality sleep should leave you feeling rested and alert when you wake up in the morning and able to stay alert throughout the day. If you are sleepy in the afternoon or not often watching TV, at a movie theater, or while riding in a car, then you have not gotten enough sleep the night before. Signs of a sleep disorder include having trouble falling asleep, frequent awakenings during the night, difficulty getting back to sleep, and early morning awakenings. Ask your sleep partner or anyone who has seen you sleep if they have noticed anything about your sleep. Do you snore? Have periods where you stop breathing or gasp for air? Have frequent leg or body jerks and twitches? Or do you move around a lot and seem to act out your dreams? These all may be signs of a sleep disorder that you should talk to your doctor or a sleep specialist about. Because we have difficulty judging our own sleepiness and impairment from sleep deprivation, also ask your friends what they have seen and if they think you are a sleepy person. You may be surprised by what they tell you. If any of these signs apply to you, you should talk to your doctor or a sleep specialist. Still not sure if you have a sleep disorder? Take a sleep disorder screening survey and find out. You've learned about the basics of sleep, the benefit of a good night's sleep, and the consequences of getting an insufficient amount of sleep. Sleep is essential to good health and optimal performance, so make sure you get enough sleep. If you are having trouble with sleep, you now have the tools to take back control and improve your sleep. Just remember, ready, set, go to sleep. If you still are having trouble with sleep after implementing these suggestions, or if a sleep disorder screening survey suggests you have a sleep disorder, see your doctor or a board-certified sleep medicine physician to get yourself back on the road to a good night's sleep. Thank you.